Hey guys, it's Rook Rippers, and welcome back to my FIFA 16 little program of where last time I left off. Another Chelsea does suffer of another defeat, and, and I just piled on, on the point in this, in this between us. It, it's, it's getting kind of ridiculous, and I have to play them in this episode, so this title race could be over before it barely begun. But before, before that, I have to pay these Chelsea's fellow London team and the team Liverpool drew it at White Hart Lane on yesterday. He Tottenham Hotspurs. And oh, am I gonna have to talk about that match because it pissed me the fuck off. Ooh, where to start? Where to start? Oh, that's right, Mr. Simon. No, fuck you. Get out of our fucking club before you die a horrific death at the hands of angry Liverpool fans. I'm telling you this for your own safety. He minuet. He's a very long name. But you you got to understand why they don't uh, Why they just refer to him as Simon Minouet at most. And not just me. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill him. And no, I can't be the only one. Hm. Why? Why did he come out for that Danny Rose shot? If he doesn't come off his line for that Danny Rose shot, he's in a much better position. And if he stays on his line, and then he'll have a better chance to save it. If he says that Spurs didn't exactly get it. In the center of the park and at the yeah, of her top. Up. Opportunities. That was probably the best opportunity I had all match. But because of freaking Minule, they scored it. And I'll get on to the officials in a second, but Minule. It just proved what. Hey. He carries will be such a breath of fresh air when he comes back from his injury. He, at least there's a break now. Oh, the internationals. I normally hate international breaks, but I couldn't be happier for an international break. Because the Premier League just started and I need a break from it. I need a serious break from it because Liverpool are pissing me off. Oh. And not just Liverpool, but the officials. Oh my, the officials. Now, I could sit, tell you, sit here and tell you, talk about the money goal, but. On looking at it, I think the linesman was right to flag it offside. Were we unlucky? Yes, but it, I think it is just offside, which, you know, sucks, but, you know, just is as much as, is as good as, as if your whole body's offside or if your mile's offside. It, it doesn't matter if you're just a small bit offside, even if it's a toe. Then technically, the, any goal should be allowed. It should be offside. And credit to the linesman for flying. But the referee! Oh my God! Why wasn't he just wearing white? Because it was clear as day. Even though he gave us a penalty, he, it was clear as day he was favoring Spurs. Very good pass. In case I get any Spurs back and it's commenting yeah. in, in, hear me out. What the fuck what was that in, in the box? And the goalkeeper has done now, I mean, you could say getting the Firmino penalty, which was a bit lucky. To be honest, I'm gonna be honest that from me no penalty, I can I can barely see 
いいでっかレッ If that the pundits are saying is there It took me the five attempts to see it I was like And instantly the first thing that came to my mind was This is like the、uh, Christian Benteke penalty against Crystal Palace His last season A very He A、debatable one, perhaps. But one that wasn't debatable, but wasn't given, was the one where Matip was fouled in the box. And,、uh, yes, it was Matip, not Genie Wynaldum, in commentators. Or stop being racist. Wynaldum wears five, Matip wears thirty-two. How can you get them mixed up? Bunch of racist bastards. So, yeah, Matip is pretty much floored or in a damn near a wrestling hold. It almost looks like he got belly to belly suplexed. Except as if he d gotten into a wrestling match with Brock Lesnar or Bailey. <laughs> so, yeah, he gets manhandled to the floor. Er, er. The previous day, he. He fouls in the box. A, no, not the previous day. The,、uh, the previous week, two such offenses, two in the box offenses, led to a penalty in the game between Stoke and Manchester City. This week, a clear cut penalty is not only completely ignored by the, the referee. But is completely ignored by the pundits. They talk a little. I was watching the halftime match analysis. They talked a little bit about the penalty that was given. They said not one word about the penalty that wasn't given. In my opinion, the penalty that wasn't given was more a penalty than the one that was. It was completely and utterly bullshit. Yeah, being honest. Liverpool's penalty should have probably given, been given earlier. I would have much rather gotten the penalty than Grant. It wouldn't really matter. Or, I mean, I would happily take both, but if it was. That one was more, more obvious than the second one. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. So,、uh, yeah. Liverpool will get the throw. If you didn't see the Spurs and Liverpool game, maybe if you were neutral, but you decided, nah, it's not worth my time. And Spurs haven't kicked it into gear or yet, and Liverpool aren't going to sign the players that they need to, to actually be a challenge for the top four this season! And because, fuck. Inside of the head as well as the outside. Us fans, why do we deserve top four? We don't! Fuck us! us. That's pretty much what the club is saying to us. Why not s i g n i n g the players that we that we need to be s i g n i n g So, yeah, fuck us. Fuck us. Bro, hint. Thanks, it's good to know that the fans that, that support the club are not valued. And are pretty much told to go fuck themselves. So, yeah, I. You now know what kind of team I'll be working with come in FIFA 17's release. Because it'll be the exact same as it is right now as I speak to you here. Because it's not gonna change, not one fucking bit. Hint. No left back is going to be signed because his, his Milnar can play there. Because Milnar can play there. One, Milnar cannot play there, he is being forced to play there. Milnar is not an accomplished left back. We need an accomplished ish sem. I experienced left back. Someone who is not James Milner and who is better than Alberto Moreno. 
that leaves about oh, 5 billion people on the planet who could do a better job than Alberto Moreno, whose name is not James Milner. And while I agree that James Milner should be playing, play him in midfield for fuck's sake. He. He. You have. You play pretty much with six midfield. There's maybe the occasional one striker, or, or if you five mid central midfield both spots, and you can't fit in Jim Milner. Look at, at the players who are playing there instead of him, and see if if any of them aren't playing well enough. If they aren't, drop their sorry asses. This I have a hint. Here's here's one. Jordan Henderson. He's had a really bad start to the season. And don't get me started on G. You know what? Now them. He shouldn't have been signed in the first place. He's, but he was. It's, and now you're wondering why James Miller can't get first team football. Oh, it's your own fucking fault. Oh, you sir. Seriously, all you have to do is put a little thought into your team selection, and you can get James Miller in there no fucking problem. Sign a left back. And sign our center defensive midfielder. All our center... We have a lot of central midfielders. How many are defensive? Um, Emery Chan. How's Emery Chan doing right now? Oh yeah, he's injured. He's injured. And we have no one to rotate with him there. For God's sake. Hey, this is... It's such an easy thing to solve, oh, but they don't want to do it. It's... And I talked in the last few episodes about how Liverpool and Arsenal were both doing the same thing. They, they had glaring weaknesses, but weren't doing anything to solve them. What have Arsenal done since then? They've tried to solve them. They've signed Mustafi and a striker no one's ever heard, heard of. But apparently he's Spanish and played in La Liga. Ah. But Arsenal have actually made an attempt. Where's Liverpool's attempt? Where's Liverpool's left back to challenge Jabber Homer Hill? Well, challenge is a, is a kind word. Or fucking replace. He should be. Was is the word I'm? He should be using. The fact that Arsenal, well, we are out Arsenal in Arsenal, and while that sounded good the first time when we did it against them in terms of it passes isn't leading up to Manny's goal. Oh, this time we're doing it in a sense that we have a glaring weakness and we're not spending the money that we need to spend to fix it. And it's a fucking joke. Oh, what will it take for her Jurgen Klopp and the authorities and our owners to see the glaring problem at left back? What happens if James Milner gets injured? Suddenly, we're stuck with Alberto Moreno. One left back. We are stuck with one left back who is shit. And don't tell me you're waiting for Joe Gomez to get in back from his injury because we don't know when that's going to happen. It is utter fucking shit. And anyone predicting Liverpool to finish top four, reevaluate it, it, mate, because without a decent quality left back, we will not finish in the top four. And this is coming from a Liverpool fan. We may as well oh, oh, lock into eighth and just stay there for the rest of the season. Because that's probably where we're going to finish up. Around about eighth. Because we haven't fixed a glaring problem. We are going to out Arsenal. Arsenal. Oh, and while, while Arsenal were able to ha hang on to 
top four her football even without spending loads of money on players to fix their glaring problems, Liverpool won't get top four. I can tell you right now, oh, oh, unless a freaking miracle happens, Liverpool will not get top four this season unless in the last few days of the transfer window they sign a fucking left back. And I wish I wasn't taking tell shining at my subscriber as you guys these of course can't make anything happen. Because you guys are for football fans like me. There's nothing we can do because it's our support of the football teams that we love. If, unless you support someone other than Liverpool. Oh, you're right. If you support Liverpool, oh, oh, we may as well all go, oh, support a different team, because Liverpool give them no shit. They need to sign a left back. They have, have, have what, three or four days to do it. It's get it done. And stop wasting fucking time. Stop wasting time with bullshit excuses is is like James Milner can play there or nothing against James Milner but he should not be our starting left back he shouldn't be like I said nothing against James he was fantastic last season he's been he, he's standard this season but uh, but we've had a pretty standard start to the season Where only he said your man is stood out. Cristiano Ronaldo! That save is top class from Asmir Begovic. So. It's a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. I just wish I could get this message to the Liverpool who owners and to the Jurgen Klopp. Stop. Up, sitting around and waiting for every other team to pass us by. Because if we don't fix our defensive problems, sooner or later, it's going to cost us more and more matches. And you know what will happen then? We'll, we'll do what Newcastle did last season. You know what Newcastle did last season? They got fucking relegated. Because they had owners who refused, they had an owner who refused to fix the problem. Hmm. And you saying James, M and if we're saying James Miller is our top class striker, is uh, our top left back, then we are pretty much dooming ourselves to another or piss his poor season of no. Top four finish. Javier Pastore. So the pundits on Sky Sports can stop talking about Liverpool being a dark horse for the title. Oh, oh, oh what a load of bullshit that was. Is that damn there hear me, hear me chuckle. Oh, as a Liverpool fan, that's a fucking joke. Oh, oh, and they are clearly taking the fucking piss because they know as well as anyone about our defenses is when everyone can tell you what the pro problem is except the people who are in charge of the team there is a true ooh, glaring problem that does not have any sign that is going to get fixed. Pedro. He's got support here. They've got the ball rolling again straight away. It's a useful ball in, and he claims the cross. It was, well, it's, nothing's ever straightforward for goalkeepers, but he's uh, not been challenged. Just, I don't know what else to say. 
like I said, I really don't want to be telling you guys this because our one year a Liverpool fan, and you already know this shit. And, and, or two, you're not a Liverpool fan and you're just laughing at this. Chelsea to start this second half then. Well, it's not fucking funny if you're a neutral and if you're a Liverpool fan and what can we do? What can we do? Why is it we the fans, one of the most important parts of Liverpool Football Club, oh. Oh. how come we don't have a voice? Why don't we have a voice? Fucking disgrace. Deflected out for a throw. And like I said, the problem is not getting fixed because they would rather her her say James Milner is our top, is our starting line. Like I said, no disrespect to James Milner. He's a br he was brilliant last season. And he, and I'm sure he'll have a he'll work his damn heart out us to have a good season this season. But he should be doing that from mid midfield and not be playing at left back out position, and where unless he's taking penalties, he's no no help. Credit to him, he tries his hardest, but he is not. Allowed. And should not have to play there. Or that position should go to someone who is actually trained in, in, in a professional or class left back. Chance for Chelsea. You have three or four days. He's, he's as I say this, these words. Will it? Will will our words be heard? Of course. Because the club had pretty much said, go for it. Cristiano Ronaldo. They closed it down. One of the biggest parts of the football club. The defense. Here's a chance. Taking the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. Sorry, I just... This is a sour note for what is a actual landmark because this is the 90th career mode episode of this FIFA. Nice. Oh, well saved. Great save by my keeper. Nice. I have no more words. There's, there's, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna continue the rest of this. Episode in silence. And the last thing I'll say is thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, have a very nice day. Please enjoy the rest of this video. Oh, but there won't be any commentary. Because I just. I have no more words. A goal for Bale. And that is a. A wonderful side foot. He knew exactly where the keeper was, and in fact, he couldn't get there. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Ramirez. Throw in for Liverpool. Gareth Bale. Nathaniel Klein. Ivanovic. Well, we've been locked in this position for a while. It's probably the longest period in the game where 
the losing team haven't conceded they're just seeing out time and to be fair the winning team are doing the same as well blow the whistle ref Cahill that will help ease the pressure and the ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes Cristiano Ronaldo Coutinho and that's a win confirmed for Liverpool well it turned out to be a different kind of game to the one perhaps we set up for you at the beginning very one-sided yeah you end up feeling a bit disappointed as a neutral because we didn't really get a contest but the winning team won't be disappointed at all played well well, let's get a summing up on Gareth Bale's performance from Alan Smith. Alan. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances.